and off it goes. Goodbye, old boat. Great memories, great times. Remember those two times I went out on that boat? Yeah, so if you're wondering why I've already sold my boat, I don't know. I don't know why I do what I do. It was a learning experience. Bought a little boat and kept it for a few months, took it out twice, now sold it. Now, what can we do with that money? You know what? You know what, I did, I did learn something about about having that boat and it taught me that if I'm gonna get another boat, I'm gonna get a top notch, high quality, a brand new one. What kind of kayak you got? Uh, Old Town PDL. Uh, yes, sir. Here it is, top of the line. So I went down to Bass Pro, spent about $1,000, bought a Bass Raider. It's the 10 in 10E NXT, this is like the little bit higher end model. Comes with two chairs and they're supposed to be a little bit more comfortable. So uh, I just kind of, it's like another hundred dollars to get more comfortable chairs. My brother-in-law gave me this trolling motor a while back. It's a 40 and um, actually I haven't even tested to see if it works. Hopefully it works. And I went and bought a battery. So I got a new battery for it. And um, this is a 10 foot little boat. I can still take two people out of it. I can load it in the back of my truck. I can put it in a pond. I can put it in a lake. I can put it in a lot of places, but I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna do what I want it to do. So let's go take it to the lake and test it out. Well, I'm out here and I can already tell you I'm gonna have to upsize this motor. This is a 40 pound thrust. It pushes this thing around fine if it was a little pond, but if I wanna get anywhere on the lake, I'm gonna have to get bigger. So I'm gonna start fishing right here a little bit, but I love all the room. I got a bunch of gear. I got a whole bunch of stuff there. I can stand up and fish. And this is actually pretty comfortable. Nice standing right here. I got a good visual. I can see down. I got a nice comfortable seat that's pretty high. Because uh, I want to start throwing some bigger lures and have something that I can go out there. And also, you know, a setup where I can go out and set up some catfish rods. And that's that's one of the things I really want to do. And that'll probably be something I'll do this more this winter. Oh, there's a nice little bass right there. Insane. Okay, I'm gonna try to hook it. I got a big bass that ate my bluegill. Ah! Stay on there, stay on there. He came off and he came back. I'm gonna try to scoop him up for you. Let's go. Oh, spit it out again. Holy cow. Where did he come from? Look at this poor little guy. <laughs> Poor little dude. All right, we're going back. I got a six pound line. There was a, a big spotted bass. He ate it, took off with it, came back, ate it again. All right, well, he's probably gonna get eaten again. Before we switch to bass fishing, let's try to catch a few more bluegill. Nice little bluegill right there. What a beautiful bluegill. I forgot my board. I meant to grab the board and I forgot it. Dude, that's a gorgeous bluegill. Dude, that's really nice. That's probably an eight inch bluegill. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh my. What happened to my. Oh, my last thing was up. I thought I broke my rod. I just saw this little bass come up and get a bug off the top of the water. I dropped back down there. I can't catch it, but I threw a yum dinger for a while. Didn't get nothing. Go back to a little tiny horse fly and get a fish. Little spot, that chunk fat little guy. My line was twisted up around my rod. I got a knot in my line now. Let me get something else out before we go back in there. Cause I know there's, I know there's gonna be some panfish in there. But it's the same kind of place, maybe a big old bass or a muskie sitting in there. And I've been wanting to do something for a while. So this is a perfect chance to do that. This is another reason I bought this boat. If it'll be able to do what I'm about to do right now. So I want to be able to stand comfortably and cast some glide baits. This is a smaller one, S waiver, but starting with lures like this, but I want to be able to stand and where I can look. Although I see a big old bluegill. Oh man. I want to catch that bluegill. He's coming, he's coming in too close, I think. There's definitely a bunch of panfish. I think we'll have time for panfish. Let me throw this around. See if I see anything follow it. And I want to just see if I see stuff follow. I just kind of want to be able to fish it in this real clear water where I can watch fish react with it. And I love, my main goal is to catch a giant spotted bass or a muskie. I already have a little bit of bass following it. Well, nothing yet, but it was actually, it is pretty easy to get back in these coves and cast this. I can, I can walk around and it's pretty comfortable doing that. Eat it, eat it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice gill. These bluegills are fat. I can count on the bluegills coming through. I really ought to fish bluegill out here more often, but I mean, I don't even know how long it's been since I've been out on the lake. Probably been a month before I've been out here. Maybe not a month, I don't know. I, probably, I think it was the last time I was catching big bluegill. But um, so much fish out here, sometimes I forget, like uh, just going out on the lake and throwing out little lures. Like when I go out on the lake, this lake has, big bass and musky and like when I do go out here I'm like thinking that like I want to try to catch that and it's easy to overlook all the small fish I can take something just gotta get a few fish I keep going back and forth between the bass and the little sunfish lures. And I uh, caught a couple bass on the little tiny lures. I'm gonna fly the drone while I'm in the kayak. I mean, while I'm in the boat. We'll see if it, um, see if I can land it back here. And the wind didn't mess me up or anything like that. footage hopefully it turns out I caught fish out of the boat I 
fish it, uh, fish it around little places. I know some things I'm going to already have to adjust, but I want to get one solid bass in. I thought it was going to rain. Maybe it ain't going to rain. I got some snacks and some chips. So I can stay out here a little bit longer. I'm going to push on. Hopefully I'll get one good, um, like a two pound bass or something. <laughs> How many times did that happen today? <laughs> I throw my other lure, bigger lure, like a little swim bait, throwing it up in there, throwing it up in there. Get done, follow it up with this tiny little lure and get a little 11 or 12 inch bass. Little horse flies getting it done. Now I'm in the trees. Oh yeah, it's kind of big. There's, yeah, I've, I've been hearing people catch them all the time. I don't ever catch them. I don't ever see Whenever them. I try to go for them, I've never seen one. <laughs> I can't find them. And you can probably tell from this video that that was about uh, two months ago when I bought that boat. So I sold my boat and bought that one the same day. Took it out, I think the next day, and it's been sitting over there beside the house ever since. So um, one of the big things I was wanting to know is, like, is, is that going to replace my kayak? I was thinking... Dude, I might like this more than my kayak. I got a, a, sit, a seat, it sits up higher. I got electric powered. I got it registered now. It's registered in my name, legal. And I still would rather go out in my kayak. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. And I almost had it out a couple other times. I was going to take it out in the pond, and it didn't work out. If I had someone else to take out, it's fine to take someone else out on that and let them fish. But when I'm trying to fish and, you know, and guide it and control it, uh, it was it was a little bit aggravating compared to my pedal drive nice old town kayak and if you don't if you haven't tried if you haven't been a nice kayak um, it's it's hard for me to tell you how nice it is and how convenient everything is I thought that would be a little bit more convenient I can load more gear on it I could stand up and uh, fish off of it which that part was nice but just the you know the wind blowing me the waves blowing me around when I'm in my kayak I'm pedaling I got control of it. I'm sitting there in a nice, it's a more comfortable seat than the boat has. And all my stuff is there. I got everything there. And I, it's, I want to be able to stand up and throw bigger lures. And I can do that on my kayak too if I want to. Um, it's like as far as if I was like crappie fishing probably or, or, or like I said, if I was taking someone else out or if I needed the room, I might try to do some catfishing where I pull the catfish up in there. I might try it, but... Yeah, so I've had it for over a month and I still have only used it that one time. But I will keep this one for a little while. I plan to do some stuff with it. I definitely want to put a bigger motor on it. And driving it is like kind of uncomfortable trying to turn around and, and steer. So I don't know what the better option for that is. If there was an easier option where I could steer it and have, have to reach back there and uh, the way it cuts real sharp. Anyways, I've been holding on to this footage because I thought I'd be doing some more stuff with this boat and I just haven't done it yet. So um, I might I might do more, but I wanted to put that out there. I, I know a lot of people. I got a lot of people asking about my old boat and why I never used it. Basically, the same reason I don't use this. Like uh, my pedal drive kayak is just it's a lot more convenient, a lot more comfortable. I, I'm I'm going out there fishing by myself. I want to be in a nice, comfortable chair, relaxed. I can control it better. I can pedal drive, and it goes faster than that boat does. And I can take my kayak in a lot of little alleyways and little skinny places and that I can't take a boat or something so um, that's why I talk a lot about how awesome it is to have a nice kayak and a nice pedal drive um, fishing style kayak once you get one of those you kind of makes everything else a little bit different and there's I've seen some people talking about deb debating recently like like um, people spend 5,000 on a pedal drive kayak and you're like man you could buy a used bass boat or you could buy um, you know a brand new you know boat and fix it the way you want it and blah 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 but dude, it's there is something about being in that kayak how comfortable and um just accessible and, and relaxed it is um that's why it's it's hard uh it's hard to go to something else and whenever i do want to go out i'll just want to go out my own kayak so 
All right, thank, thanks for watching. I hope I answered a few questions some people had. And um, I still want to do some stuff with this boat. Hopefully I got some, you know, some trips coming up with it in the future.